Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Bat Cave. Boom. This is the Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. And uh, we have a anonymous supporter of the show who is sending me articles and paying the the five dollars a month as the patreon folks do but this person wants to remain anonymous however you want to do it some of you have donated to this show by sending to my p.o box which is on my website grahamelwood.com if you want to remain anonymous and don't want <clears throat> your name or whatever be tracked online i totally get that you can send money anonymously i'm finally getting steam it set up i have a steam it account set up and i just got uh i think it's d live is their video thing so i have to start posting videos but i said i would put it on steam it months ago and i know it's taken a while but i got busy putting the new studio up so i'll get it on steam it don't worry but we are also on daily motion please watch us on daily motion dailymotion.com slash Graham Elwood. Subscribe, it's the same thing as YouTube. I need likes and subscribes on that platform. Daily Motion is out of France, to my knowledge. They're not owned by any evil corporations. I could be wrong, or Google could buy them up. But that's a great way to support the show since uh, Google has actively cut my revenue down by about 60, 70%. So my own, and I got rid of the Amazon link. So I'm not making any money from Amazon. The only way I'm bringing in revenue right now is Patreon. A little bit from YouTube, a little bit, but the main revenue is Patreon, and then some of you send me money to the P.O. Box, but it's not much. Patreon is the main supporter, so if you can go to the Patreon and support the channel, I would love it. And also, if we could get the daily motion numbers up, that would really help the channel as well. We could turn that into a revenue stream that's not owned and controlled by Google, but I will be on Steam it because then it's uh, on what I'm learning now is the blockchain, and they can't do anything about that. So. Um, <clears throat> This article that was submitted by an anonymous supporter, The Straw That May Break the U.S. Back as Middle East Peacemakers. Um, this is by Hadir Amir, which is an, an opinion contributor that was on thehill.com. The link is in the show notes below. And it's a very interesting article, and it shows how American presidents have been doing this for 70 years, and now Trump is not doing that, which is just... I mean, all he's done at every turn is basically, um, you know, devalue America abroad in terms of our international reputation and we're all, we're the big peacekeeper, nice guys. This is, but the thing that I always talk about Trump, I don't like him, but he's just doing the most vulgar version of what presidents have been doing. He's just outwardly racist and offensive and greedy and for in favor of war and all this other stuff he doesn't do these like political things and say nice things publicly and then he just doesn't care um so this is what happened recently the state department abruptly announced that the trump administration would no longer fund the united nations relief for works agency for palestinian refugees unrwa an organization funded by every american president Democrat or Republican since it was started 70 years ago. And it's a cornerstone of America's support for stability in the Middle East and a flagship of our values to provide the mo for the most vulnerable. Here's what the funds go towards. A modern secular education for 500,000 boys and girls, vaccinations and health clinics that provide services to over 3 million refugees, and a basic level of dignity for millions who otherwise would lead lives of despair. It almost feels like Trump and his gang, and this might now, I know I'm getting into the tinfoil hat area, but you know, this is the evangelicals have this crazy there are some evangelicals that want end times right they want you know rapture to happen so that jesus comes back and you know that's mike pence who was appointed by the republicans trump didn't want mike pence the republicans do so but that crazy conspiracy whether it's right or wrong i'm not getting into a debate on whether that's right or wrong put that just aside for a second whether you agree with it or not what is for certain is a destabilized Middle East benefits us in terms of the oil. 
because as we've done and we've sh the American American government foreign policy has time and time again thrown over democratically elected people in Middle East or any country that has uh, Venezuela democratically elected president oh coup assassination attempt crazy stuff because typically when a democratically elected politician is in charge of a country that has a lot of natural resources that we want typically they go well why do we have to give this to America and its corporate interests we should make the money from this our country should be should do this and then we come in and go nope boom coup you're a terrorist whatever our thing is so that's probably the main motivation since Trump's whole thing from day one has been oil 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 money oil money oil money and the war machine money oil war all together they're all the same thing nowhere are the UNWRA cuts more acute than in the Gaza Strip, where two million souls inhabit a tiny sliver of land that few can gain permission to leave? There, the UNRWA provides services to 1.3 million people, spending about 40% of its overall budget. And we're pulling the money from this. Now, us pulling the money from this means that there is private citizens, American citizens can donate, but the United States government is pulling its money. Can they make this money up elsewhere? Probably. But it's just yet another like, oh, the American State Department doesn't even, isn't even going to pretend to care. We're not even going to pretend to care. Although Jews and Arabs are about equal number in the Holy Land, in the past decades, Israel has had full control of roughly 90% of the land. The Palestinians have significant, but not full, control of around 5%. And around 5% is shared. You see, this is a, this is a problem. <clears throat> and in the past... America's actually tried to be, do the right thing here. But like in September of 1993, on the lawn of the White House, an agreement was signed between Israeli and Palestinian leaders that many hoped would help channel the aspirations for peace, security, sovereignty, and prosperity into a lasting government. Although those objectives have not yet been achieved, failing to recognize one group's attachment to the land or seeking to obliterate their connection will only serve the opposite of the cause of peace and profoundly damage America in the process. 1993. That's Bill Clinton. We've always tried to be at the center of the peace between Palestine and Israel. And now we're just going, meh, the hell with it. It's just... And I will say this again. I will say this till the day I die. I blame Hillary and the Democrats for allowing Trump to be in power to do this. All those people in the Democratic Party. Chuck Schumer. Pelosi. Tom Perez. Debbie Wasserman Schultz. They all helped create this environment. We could have a real progressive in the White House, but instead we've got this. And that's what neoliberal politics does. That's what identity politics does. That's what centrism does. Well, let's not, no, no. Go hard left, man, and fight. Stay on the left, hard. This incremental bullshit. You see the right, you know how the right never concedes? The Trump, the, the Tea Party folks, they never concede. They never concede. And the neoliberals, and the, basically the corporate Democrats profit from being centrists. What's happening is this country has been very right-leaning, like center-right. But because of this jackass being Trump, we're now moving more center-left. More people than I've ever seen are outwardly saying I'm a socialist. That was never a thing you would say. So... 
again, quite possibly, we needed Trump to do these idiot awful things that are horrible, but to wake people up to what's really going on. You've woken up. That's why you are all political vigilantes. Go to GrahamElwood.com. I've got shows coming up. I have a show September 22nd in Los Angeles doing stand-up comedy with a bunch of other comics. All my tour dates are going on. Progressive comedy tours hitting Northern California, November 2nd, Sacramento, November 3rd, San Francisco. That's with Ron Placone. Tickets are moving fast on that. We put those tickets on sale a month ago and the venues are almost 40, 50% sold out. They're not huge venues. So if they sell out, we might add a show, might not, but we sold out in Louisville. We sold out in Nashville, North Carolina on the last tour. So get your tickets now. Thanks for watching.